Okay, so today is the day we're setting up or packing up my van for Quail Hollow, but first we have to deal with the, uh, the flood in my basement. Last night it was three inches. Today is it down to about an inch and a half, but we gotta vacuum this up and then I can load up my van. I should probably take my sneakers off. So that way I'm not getting That's what I mean, if we had one long hose, how great would that be? Do you think it connect? No, because the hose, the vacuum won't work unless the cover's closed. But could that hose connect to the hose that's on this one? Like down here, instead of that. It still has to go in there, how do you get out of there? That would be up there, and then the hose would come all the way down to here. Let's get that up. I mean, I just don't know if these would connect. Yeah, I only want them to be good. Yeah, just for the, yeah. We're taking a quick break from the flood. We're gonna load some of these boxes into the van. my ankle right here up to my ankle this is where my bookshelves are luckily all my kids books are up there up here all of my books were on this table so all that's good at least we got some of the water out but I need to load up my van for my book show this weekend so we took a little break to get some books into the van Okay, it's time to get the children's books that are up there into the van. Oh, 
smart. Now, oh, it's so smart. Now let's see if we can pick this one up. Okay. Um, I would go here. Okay. here right? yeah. okay. this, this, as long as this works, it seems so much better. Do you want to do mine? Yep, there, there. So guess what happened to me? What? Left you. I'm going to throw the cardboard things out. Uh -huh. Leave that hooked up. Let's see if we can go away. Just get it out of there. That's probably going to take off. Let's see. That's fine. As long as we have the right And I had a hose. I got it, but it's not long enough. So I pulled it out, and a little baby mouse that they didn't know how his eyes opened came out. It's still alive. Okay. Put him in the grass. I went to the pet store. What goat smell? I gotta put it in his mouth now and now. So, okay, to keep so it alive. Where is it? It's at work in a little thing with a thing of water. Got because that's it's not gonna live. Uh, so. Okay. Well, you're trying. Yeah. Bottom, I gotta take it out. Oh, it's coming out, Donna. It's coming out. <gasps> oh, yeah. Success. So much better. Oh my gosh. And so what we'll do is we'll Hi, buddy. Shows. We'll let it go there, then we'll let it go there, then we'll let it go there. High five. Okay, Bubba, stop. You can't go down here. It's too wet. Good boy, Bubba. All right. Yay. Okay. Oh, look, it's getting down. Okay. So when that gets to here, the bottom. Okay. All right. Yeah, most of this up. We're about we're about 50% done. As you can see, there's still a lot of water over here, especially in this corner. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of water over here still, but everywhere else is looking better, right, Bubba? Right, Bubba. We're on our way to New Paltz, but we drove past this little guy. Wanted to get him to safety. Where are you trying to go, friend? Where are you trying to go? Go this way. Go this way. Go that way. Okay. Bye. Okay. Save. Turtle saved. This could be right here.
looks cute. Do I really not have any carrying stones? I've got none. I've seen none. Remember that book Nikki forgot last time? Can we go get more? Can you bring some to the show? Okay, here. Look in the canvas pencil. Okay, well I think we're good besides, let's get this under here. Let's figure out which ones I need in the morning. This is where my bags are, so this is important. This should get thrown in somewhere else, so that way it's not in my way. That we're not gonna use, right? In an empty box. That we're not gonna use. Actually, this one right here, I think it's empty. Okay, the booth is all set up. The kids' books here. Tomorrow, I will be adding canvas prints to my booth and adding my whole display up on this front table. Okay, the booth is packed up. My booth is all set up. Uh, it's a new setup for me, so we took a little bit of time to play with it and get it organized and see what looked nice. But it's all set up. Uh, now we are heading to go get food and then go to bed. Should I go here? Heading to Quail Hollow Arts Festival. It's day one of the show. Good morning, it is day one of Quail Hollow Arts Festival. I'm here with all of my books and I'm excited to meet everyone today. And then this one's about humans evolving into the elements, earth, fire, water, air. And you follow the main character on a futuristic Alice in Wonderland like adventure she tries to save the world. I'm going to feature that as well. It's crazy, I'm losing my mind. But then supernatural things start happening and she realizes she might not be as crazy as she thought. In this series, you meet the champions. So juniper is with the trees, and then all the other women represent different elements of nature, just like a whole system that goes on here. I hope she loves it. Thank you so much. She's wrapped with the Russian royal. This is Sharon Carter. And then I've got these guys over here. This is a kind of cool, kind of man that you don't find a part of any craft. And he's a character. This is a good one for that. He does something awful right off the bat, and then he's going on a redemption quest, and he's on the side having a feel about it. Like the future and then going backwards, like kind of starting from the beginning, start here. 
4,000 years later. <laughs> I read this one first and I went backwards and read the whole book. Yeah. yeah. So these are my, my books. Yeah. So this one, uh, humans evolve into earth, fire, water, air. The people of the sky, the element of air, become the superhuman monsters and evolve their love story of a guy turns into a superhuman monster. A little darker. Like, twist on the Anastasia Roman monster. I need you to reach out and let me know how you like the stories, okay? Okay. You can send me an email, you can write up a little review, whatever works for you. But I like talking to my readers. If you want to do high fantasy world build or the biggest game of thrones type of vibe, that's a fair. Fine with my kids book, it tends to be that adults need them more than the kids need them half the time. So yeah. Yeah, these are my adult fantasy novels on the side and then I have some young adult fantasy novels. Day one is complete. Time to hit the road. Day one of Quail Hollow Arts Festival is complete. It was an awesome day. I had so much fun, met so many great people. Now it's time to hit the road and decompress. It's day two of Quail Hollow Arts Festival. Uh, we just parked the car. We're heading to my booth. I have a hat on because it's a little rainy, um, but hopefully it'll hold off. Um, as the sun's changing, they, yeah, it sparkles and it glistens throughout the day. Slabs of dark cherry wood. Um, the tree was about 110 years old before it fell over. So these are in like first and fourth grade classrooms. I have some people that will buy the spots for younger as like a door to open a conversation. Yeah. 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 So that's a little boy and this little boy. And this one has a little boy in it. This one, so the little girl, she um, created the dog, she beats her fear. And also, all the girls are getting their own little origin. So it sets up how they become champions. I can sign it for her. Maybe. So we're all different in that case. And you're more than welcome to pull them up. I use the writing and the illustrator is absolutely amazing. So she has this gorgeous photo throughout the whole She's wrapped with the Russian royals and this is not one of them. So it's very, it's a thriller. I call it. So I have some fancy novels. I think this one's gratitude. And uh, being painful is amazing.
basically sets up how they get chosen to be champion is. Over here, humans evolve into the elements, earth, fire, water, air. The girl that's in the uh, is sadness and learning are strong enough to get through tough times. And this one's all about sharing kindness. God. Throughout the trilogy, you can see the champions and the different elements of nature. So there's like a whole earth magic system here. Um, each girl is getting their own. My car is actually going to have that book cover on it, but... Throughout the trilogy, you get to meet the champions, so then all these women represent the nature, and uh, they form like an earth magic sister who throughout the series trying to save humanity. Making friends by being nice. This is about uh, sadness and learning to be strong enough to get through tough times. Grace Box is about fear and learning to be brave, and you have a little superhero girl that stands up for a really good point in school. That one? Okay. Yeah, we'll get the target. This one is about a young boy in a fishing village who is caught in the world of mystical secrets and magic. He has to save himself a character from the sky on a futuristic Alice in Wonderland like adventure. She tries to save the world. That's a fun, uh, it's a twist, it's a, a solid origin for that. The world feels like it's falling apart, there's always something to be grateful for. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? This is about sadness and learning you're strong enough to get through tough times. Yeah, I can show you. I've got a couple actually for blue spots, so I'll show you which ones those are. Once I write this out for you. It's about acceptance and loving people for who they are. We're all this and that. Gratitude, and even when the world feels like it's falling apart, there's always something to be thankful for. Different elements of nature, so there's like an earth magic system that can. And each of these girls is getting their own little origin story that explains how they become a champion for Gratitude and being thankful even when the world feels like it's falling apart. This is sadness and learning you're strong enough to get through tough times. Fear and learning to be brave. Or Percy Jackson. Ball. Okay, so then this is where they want to be. These guys are also okay without Adrian, but they're obviously not tough guys. Right, right, right. So this is um, sadness and learning you're strong enough to get through tough times. Online, but then supernatural things start happening and she realizes she might not be as crazy as she thought. So in this series there's a whole uh, earth magic system. And then this book is the end of day two at Quail Hollow Arts Festival. I had a great day as you can see a lot of my books are finding new homes. Um, but yeah, we didn't get a video earlier because it got really busy quick and didn't have time. But I'm having a great time meeting really awesome people and excited to come back tomorrow. We're back in the hotel room and it appears that there's a ghost living in this room. Yeah, it has to be in my bed too. Not happy. Okay, well, good night, ghost. It's day three, the final day of Quail Hollow Arts Festival. Uh, it's a gorgeous day outside. I'm super excited to get back there and to see who comes out to the show, get my books into some new homes, and uh, finish out the weekend strong. Good morning. It's the last day of Quail Hollow Arts Festival. I'm here with all of my books. There's a little scan so you can see them all. Uh, super excited to see who comes out today. It's beautiful, it's sunshiny, and uh, we're gonna have a great day. Throughout the trilogy, you get to meet the champions, so there's different women that speak of different elements of nature. There's a whole earth magic sisterhood going on, trying to save humanity. Each girl is getting their own little origin story that says of how Mother Nature chooses them to be a champion for this year. Okay. Uh, so they travel all around overcoming their fears and she, like each environment? She's helping him get over his fears. Okay. And by the end, he goes back to school feeling a lot more confident. Do. 
want to try to find the owner. It gets all turned into something you think before. This is sadness and learning you're strong enough to get through tough times, fear and learn to be brave, and the share of this. That's more of like if you want to go backwards and get more of the characters' backstories, they'll eventually be like um, These are all the descendants of these characters. Throughout this series, you get to meet the champions. They represent different elements of nature. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. The children's books are about emotions, uh, adult fantasy novels, and young adult fantasy novels as well. All this is the fire, water, air. And you follow the main character on a futuristic house in Wonderland like adventure to try to save the world. It's also a redemption story, so if you like very imperfect characters that have done terrible things and are trying to do better, um, that's, that's one of them. And if you think you're either going to love them or hate them, and that's the point. The elements are fire, water, air, and you follow the main characters in the sky on a futuristic and Alcy Wonderland like adventure to try to save the world. So these would all be great. The show is officially over. It was a great day in New Paltz, New York at Quail Hollow Arts Festival. Uh, it's time to clean up my booth and head home, but I had a great weekend and I'm looking forward to coming back. Look, things are falling off. car is all packed up, and it's time to go back to New Jersey. Hey mom, wave. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. We're back in the car. We are about to hit the road. We're gonna head back to New Jersey. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous day, so we're riding with the windows down. Hitting the road. Time to hit the road. Hello! Hello! 
happy to see you too. I'm so happy to see you.